well, there are also not, not a lot of comfortable people around. The way I'm walking with my camera, some people are not sober. She, there are some people, you know, they are ready to be aggressive. Yeah, and keep the vlog now down. I know I said it was dodgy, but just always find some space on the offside and yeah, and just vlog along. Some people look like they feel provoked if you must like avoid eye contact. So from what? But anyway, sometimes I like to fight through. You know, if you vlog, you must like vlogging. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog in Hamburg at night. Give it a like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. So anyone knowing this place, Panburg, it's from the video where it's called Got Deported from Denmark. So anyone watching from those days, if this is the station, yeah, where I got kicked out. I'm at the border to Germany now. There it is. But now it's not anymore like before. Yeah. It's a little clean. No police. No military. Yeah, it was the pandemic which was a little bit so harsh and stuff. But I thought I'd do an eventual vlog. Somehow I'm getting along well with this station. The station just brings back memories, you know. The first time arriving in Denmark, I got detained already. That was my first impression about Denmark. But Denmark so far so good. And now it will be interesting because I have no Corona certificate. I didn't register. So I hope systems haven't changed. Yeah, let's check it out then. I mean, police are not even active here because I always know when a train comes by. But when a train comes, fr comes in from Germany, police jump in and then, yeah then it's all showtime but the military is not active like back then so the train has arrived off we go so yeah let me hurry up before yeah, well, still has got time. Let's jump in and then let's continue with the adventure. Now off to Hamburg from Hamburg. So back to Germany, Hamburg, main railway station. Now I gotta find my bus. Today we're taking a bus until we finish off this journey. So now I'm just looking for the bus terminus where to go to. Should I have a kebab? So kebab? I don't know, or should I have McDonald's? I should next time make myself a couple of sandwiches. 
they're either than whatever trying to decide what to eat actually actually i wouldn't have vlogged this vlog i'm just vlogging it because i haven't really taken a ride the other way around from weile hamburg and then back home so that's why i thought let me just do this vlog and yeah and see how it is strolling around here at night pretty chaotic in a big metropole in hamburg well there are also a lot not a lot of comfortable people around the way i'm walking with my camera some people are not sober some people could be drunk yeah some see there are some people you know they are ready to be aggressive but so far so good everything's okay i'm going to the station So now I've eaten <clears throat> now I've eaten <clears throat> well I have a little cough so now yeah let's check out a little bit of Hamburg before we leave and then then off to the bus terminus I now have like one hour so I hope I don't get lost like I was in Aarhus but Hamburg I know a little bit just looking for the city center let's see if I find it or if I don't if I don't I'll just leave it and then go to the bus terminus well <laughs> the downtown seems to be pretty quiet so there is nothing much. Well, the only thing I can say is check out the one of my videos, Hamburg during lockdown. It's daytime and you can see everything, but at night not everything is so clear here. And you have to be careful when I vlog a little bit, because this side is quiet. But on the other side to the bus terminus, there's so many uncomfortable people who can, you know. So here on this side, it's just the downtown. <clears throat> so the southern side of the railway station is a little bit, yeah, dodgy.